profit and loss we come across the words profit and loss at many places in our real life siddhant what are you reading in the newspaper jia do you know that the webmania toy company have incurred a loss of 2 and 1/2 lakhs in this year at the same time the munna toy company had a profit of 6 lakhs in this year's business siddhant what do you mean by profit and loss ah uh, that's very easy to understand come on let me tell you about profit and loss with this example john has a factory where he produces toys he is a big businessman so he cannot go to each person and sell the toys hence he sells these toys to shops who in turn sell it to people here john is the producer of the toy manufacturing company shop is the retailer and people are the customer or the consumer in most cases a middleman buys from the producer and sells the product to the consumer and the middleman are either wholesaler or retailer the price with which the shopkeeper is buying the toys from the producer is called the cost price and the price with which the shopkeeper sells the toys to the customers is called as selling price let us assume that the shop buys a toy from the producer at rupees 200 and sells it to the customers at rupees 300 the shop has sold the toy at a higher price than the cost price therefore it is a profit after few months the demand of the same toy reduces and customers are not wanting to buy the same toy the shop buys the toy at the same price of rupees 200 but because of less demand sells it in rupees 100 in this case the shop is in loss note that in the first case the selling price is higher and in the second case it is lower so we can say that if the selling price is greater than the cost price then it is a profit whereas if the selling price is less than the cost price then it is a loss in short cost price is called as cp and selling price is called as sp let us solve few problems to get a better understanding of the topic a bookseller buys books for rupees 800 and sells it at rupees 900 is it a profit or loss for the shopkeeper here the cost price is rupees 800 and selling price is rupees 900 since the selling price is greater than the cost price we can say it is a profit and how much is the profit profit is equal to the selling price minus the cost price that is 900 minus 800 which equals 100 a profit of rupees 100 means that the article was sold at rupees 100 more than the cost price of the article let us look at the next example a cycle shopkeeper buys a cycle for rupees 1500 and sells it at rupees 1200 is it a profit or loss for the shopkeeper here the cost price is rupees 1500 and selling price is rupees 1200 since the selling price is lower than the cost price we can say it is a loss and how much is the loss loss is equal to cost price minus the selling price that is 1500 minus 1200 which equals 300 a loss of 300 means 
that the article was sold at rupees 300 less than the cost price of the article remember the money paid to buy an item is called the cost price the money received on selling an article is called the selling price profit is equal to sp minus cp and loss is equal to cp minus sp there is a trick to remember these formulae first by looking at the cp and sp find out if it is a profit or loss and then subtract the lower number with the higher number we know that when the shopkeeper buys toy from the factory it becomes the cost price and when he sells the toys to people it becomes selling price sometimes the shopkeeper spends money on transporting the articles from factory to his shop this expenditure is an additional cost these expenses are included in the cost price of the article this extra expenses are called as the overhead expenses overhead are the expenses spent on transportation commission repairs etc these are added to the original cost price so total cost price is equal to original cost price plus the overhead expenses let us solve one problem based on this siddhant buys some electronic goods from a wholesaler for rupees 650 and spends rupees 100 on its transportation etc if he sells these electronic goods for rupees 900 find the profit or loss made by him since siddhant buys electronic goods for rupees 650 and spends rupees 100 on its transportation therefore the total cost price of electronic goods for siddhant is equal to rupees 650 plus rupees 100 is equal to rupees 750 selling price is equal to 900 since selling price is greater than the total cost price therefore it is a profit so profit is equal to 900 minus 750 is equal to rupees 150 percent is a fraction with the denominator 100 it is denoted by the symbol percent which means hundreds too using percentage we can compare two quantities in real life we come across a variety of situations where we calculate or compare things in percent situations like buying and selling of items if you are a shopkeeper you calculate the profit and loss in percent as a customer you always ask for a discount which is also estimated in percentage let's learn how to calculate profit and loss as a percentage siddhant and shreya both bought a book and sold it siddhant bought a book at rupees 250 and sold it at rupees 260 since the selling price is greater than the cost price therefore it is a profit we can calculate profit using the formula profit is equal to sp minus cp therefore 260 minus 250 is rupees 10 whereas shreya bought a book at rupees 20 and sold it at rupees 30 since the selling price is greater than the cost price therefore here also it is a profit which is equal to 30 minus 20 is rupees 10 when we compare both the cases we see that the profit of siddhant and shreya are same that is rupees 10 but actually one of them have made a bigger profit even though both made profit of rupees 10 but for one 
it is the profit made on the bigger part of the cost price than the other. Let us calculate profit percentage to understand this better. To calculate profit percent, we divide the profit by the cost price multiplied by 100. In the case of Siddhant, the profit made is rupees 10 and the cost price of the book is rupees 250. Therefore, 10 divided by 250 multiplied by 100. That is, 1000 divided by 250 which is equal to 4%. In the case of Shreya, the profit made is rupees 10 and the cost price of the book is rupees 20. Therefore, 10 divided by 20 multiplied by 100 that is 1000 divided by 20 which is equal to 50%. So, when we compare the profit percent, we observe that Siddhant incurred a profit of 4% whereas Shreya incurred a profit of 50%. So, even if the profit for both of them is same, Shreya has incurred a bigger profit based on the cost price. To calculate loss percent, we divide the loss by the cost price multiplied by 100. As we saw in the case of profit percent, in the similar manner, even if the loss made by two people are same, but the loss percent can be bigger based on the cost price.